What is that? Dusky lady? I have always considered the Heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, the proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. When the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society an acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely, Absolutely right. Absolutely. Yes. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What did she say? You're lying, she of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I mean, yes. 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 Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is looking good, man. Oh, looking good. Test two. Sorry. I don't have agree. Clearance. Yes. Can't let you pass. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A toast then. Remember, flowers. In her honor. You never saw Savor the taste because you never Not will a damn again. thing. And let me remind you, we are in this together. We go down. We all go down. Here's the loyalty.
Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! <sighs> Your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Provence brick by brick. Finish it. Don't let my wife find me like this. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. It won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, 